right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Destroyer. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, he eats a knee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. And they are exchanging leather early. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Leg kick.
punch coming, it's blocked. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just misses with the straight left hand. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Big leg kick lands. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Powerful leg kick lands. Back and forth we go. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Good punch, Lance. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Nice one, two there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well again. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Collar tie now. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Let's go. Get on first for me. Oh, single collar tie here. Try to establish that jab. Please kick attempt. That one was blocked. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Nice punch there by Lee. Nice body kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And there comes the separation now. Oh! Use her, serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this place. He is all about that left kick to the body. It's no good. Look at him drive his shin to the front of the body with that body. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Just misses with the jab there. All right, he engages in a single oh, follow tie. Slept him right there. Lee gets back up. No surprise there. Looking to land the leg kick now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big and kick. 
Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Work his head, work the head. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. He can't take any of those kicks. Punch over the top. And they separate. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Way to hide that leg. Nice defense there. Huge block. Left hand punches the clinch. Three minutes to go in round two. Goes back to that left kick once again. Got clip with the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. Beautiful strike. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. A oh, little single collar tie there. Big kick land. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That is a thudding leg kick. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, right, then a left. Let's go, I need you to be first now. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, there's that elbow. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Oh, he got that boat of the target very quickly. 20 seconds left. And they separate. Great punch landed with so much power. 10 seconds remain in round two. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. 
early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lee gets caught with that punch. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Lee's knee strike is blocked. Whips on that offer. Right hand upstairs. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Can't take many of those. You better check. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And they separate. Beautiful body kick. for the inside leg kick. Got the single collar tie. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's face. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Beautiful body kick land right on the elbow. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Lee. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice punch lands over the top. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He got the turnover in that kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, big head kick lands. Some nice back and forth action here. Lee's knee attempt here looked like a good one, but it gets blocked. Ooh, -wee. Ooh -wee, what a right hand by this young man. Nice leg kick land. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, single collar tie here. Big knee lands to the body. Just misses with a left hook there. Big kick lands. Clean with the right hook. 
And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all oh. Seconds winding down in round three. What a fight so far. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Lee's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Give me that inside kick to the leg now. Big kick lands. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Real nice body kick lands. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. <laughs> Effective strike there by Lee. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he slipped that strike and then countered beautifully, really starting to get his range and get it from the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Not there. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Take your time. Take your time. There's no give on that leg. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice loop and punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Head kick land. Flush right hand is true. Just out of range with the straight left hand. And they separate. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. He's hurt bad. Oh! Nice punch, Lance. Big knee! Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, single collar tie now. 
Lee gets the tie clinch here. And he landed the right hand there. A little single collar tie there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Back and forth we go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And they separate. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So fire a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Deep breath, deep breath. Great. Last round coming up. We got five minutes. All right, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should laud the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this Ready? next round. A high Ready? number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Good punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Liver kick. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Oh! He's out! Oh! Woo! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short knife for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Abe Levine is called to stop to this contest at 29 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.